Hi, my name is Lisa Langell, and I want to talk to you today briefly about photographing abstracts. So there are a few basic principles to think about when photographing abstracts. You want to remove context. You want strong compositional elements, color harmony, patterns, lines, and curves, and you also want to use light beautifully. So let's take a look at how this works. For here's an example of removing context. I'm pretty sure you might be pondering what this image is of. You'll have to take one of my classes to figure out what I actually photographed, but you can see that we have patterns, lines, curves, and we've certainly removed context. There's also color harmony here. I'm removing context from this dahlia by photographing a petal up close. Now, I've also ensured in composition, which is an important part of abstracts, that there are strong lines, good compositional elements, and a strong use of light here. Here's another example of strong composition by turning this image into a triptych, changing it to black and white, and shooting in a creative way. Color harmony can be brought in through your textures and colors, and all of these images that I've showed you so far have been things from out in the field. Color harmony can be brought in and changed to make dramatic pictures that not only tie in the color harmony within the elements of the picture, but also in the room in which you hang it. Patterns, lines, and curves are so important to have your eye move through the image. Abstracts are really about an experience that you have in the image as opposed to photographing a subject. This is really about art, and art is so strongly based in composition, line, color, and so forth, so you'll really want to make those strong elements in your photography. Here's another example. So I'm also going to challenge you when you take my class, and we'll do this live, but I'll challenge you to look for the hidden opportunities. So traditionally, you might go out in the field and photograph a duck. Well, in this case, instead of the northern shoveler, I'm going to have you photographing on the hidden opportunities for abstracts here. So let's take a look here. If I focused on the water instead, I now can get something like this. Not sure what you'll do with it? Get creative and hang it on your wall like this, a beautiful triptych that's contemporary, abstract, and full of warm gold liquid color. So join a workshop with me. I offer sincere and thoughtful instruction. I really care about your learning. I make it fun and upbeat, and I never make it something where you feel like you can't ask a question. Every one of my workshops feels comfortable, relaxed, and we have a good time. I want to make sure you have personalized attention and support, yet receive expert knowledge. So I look forward to seeing you in one of my upcoming workshops inside or out in the field. And you can also find me teaching for places like Photographer's Adventure Club, Arizona State Parks, Becoming an Outdoor Woman, and many more, in addition to my own independent workshops. For more information, visit LangellPhotography.com. I hope to see you soon.